Hello there, Sarah from Seventeen once again, introducing you to my Syndicate Hard Difficulty CEO Rank video walkthrough. This is Milestone Seventeen, and this is Corporate Warfare. I do apologise if I sound kind of funky. My sinuses are playing up because we've been having some hot weather and some cold weather, and it's been all fucking messy. And suffice to say, my nose is running, and uh, there's not a lot I can do about it. So it might make me sound a little bit more, you know, very white. But, fingers crossed, it should still be salvageable and you'll be able to hear the tips and tricks that I have to divulge on your face. But, this is a pretty short mission, but it's also a pretty action-packed one. And at the start, you'll notice we, we're thrown into the conflict with the TAR. And uh, this is one of the best assault rifles on the game. It's got a really nice sight. I actually prefer the iron sights in the multiplayer for it, so I haven't bought the red dot because the iron sights are pretty sexy. But... It's just a cool weapon to use, and, it, and it's it's featureful. It's got a noob tube. It's got all sorts of great stuff. As I experiment here, throwing grenades, and you'll notice I don't really throw the grenades a lot, and it's because you have to put them on like a weapon. And I don't generally like when they they disarm you to throw grenades. There's only a couple of games that this works well on, and I, and I think one of them is probably Gears, because it makes the grenades have a little bit more importance. But on a first-person shooter, let me carry my gun and throw a grenade. It just seems so fruitless not to. But, here's the first dude with liquid armor, so you want to drain him down and then execute him, like that, and he'll not be too much trouble, and we're just going to be literally taking on just phalanxes of enemies, there's going to be fucking loads, and we're going to be split up from Rosario Dawson when we get into the level, and that's when shit really kicks off, and effectively, this is the beginning of the end, this is the start of the final section of the game, because we're going to be going through this building, uh, going back up through our old syndicate buddies, and uh, trying to get to Brian Cox to, to slap him, basically. So, just use your abilities, make sure you keep hitting those perfect breaches, uh, make sure you aim for people's faces, utilize the fact you have an ACR that fires through cover and is amazing in every facet, and uh, you shouldn't have too much issue. But I'm going to talk about some other stuff because there's a lot of shit on my mind because... <laughs> I've not been able to, to do the thing that enables me to clear my mind, which is kind of bullshitty. But I'm currently on day three of not being able to play my Xbox. And it sucks, it really does. I use it for a lot of things, and when it's not there, I only realise how much it helps my life. And uh, I know that probably sounds very sad to some people, but I'm going to put it into a context that hopefully makes it sound a little bit better. So, at this moment in time... Well, you'll notice just then I tried to noob tube the people in the elevator, but the guy that's at the front took the brunt of the shot, and he had liquid armor, so there's nothing you can do against that. But just back up to these stairs, let them come to you, and you can always just keep coming around the corner and hitting them through the walls. It's nice and simple. But right now, me and my friends uh, are currently in the final weeks of deadlines for university. So all we're pretty much doing is working towards these deadlines. And when you've been sat at a computer for several hours and, you, you know, doing the same thing, it gets to the point where you get so demoralized that you just want to, to relax. You just want to do something to take your mind off it. And because, like, all my friends are all too busy doing work, it's not like I can go out and see them and hang around. And my other friends are all actually at work because they, you know, they have jobs where they work every fucking day and they hate them. So it's not like I can just, you know, go out and, and hang around with some people to take my mind off it. So the the easiest vice that I have is I could just put my Xbox on for a bit, play that, chill out, and then get ready to do some more university work. And when my Xbox is not working, I don't have that release. So I'm bored as fuck, <laughs> essentially, because I know that I've got to do some more work and I don't have that avenue of... of, of you know, chilling out and, and relaxing and getting back into a creative mindset to, to, to head back into the work with, and it sucks. Oh, if you use this, this desk for cover, just be careful, because I got almost insta-killed on the first part of my recording run, and I couldn't understand what killed me, but uh, the second time through, I had no issue, and this is what you're seeing right now. And, like, it's it's almost like a drug for me, it really is, because... It helps me forget the things that annoy me, it helps me, you know, calm down, it helps me relax, it, it helps a lot of stuff, like, my girlfriend is away at university and I haven't seen her for a while, and I miss her a lot, because, you know, I'm a human being, I'm an animal, and I miss my partner, but when I can get on my Xbox and play that for a couple of hours, 
I don't miss anything because I'm completely immersed in whatever game I'm playing. <clears throat> and that doesn't mean that every game I play has Bioshock storyline. It just means I am not focusing on the things that mean the most to me. I'm focusing on, you know, shooting a giant lizard in the face on this dumbass game. And that's awesome. And when I don't have that, it's it's like I'm reminded of how much I miss her. And, and that escalates. And it's just one of those things where... I feel like fucking Martin Sheen at the start of Apocalypse Now. I feel like I'm in a bad trip where I just can't relax and it just seems to take forever. It's like being in fucking limbo and it sucks. And what makes it worse is, like, I can go without playing my, any computers for, for a large amount of time because it's my choice to do that. But as soon as it's against my choice and it's actually my Xbox that's failing me, that's when it becomes difficult. It's weird as hell. It's, it's like... It's just so bad, and it's always, you want to do something more when you're not able to do it, which is just ridiculous, it's, it's the whole, you know, the grass is greener concept, and I hate that as well. Oh, be very careful on this section, I stand behind this ammo box to get a little bit of cover, because some turrets are going to drop into the room, you want to hack them, and then you want to destroy them, because it's just going to be the best way to do it, and just be careful, because they can kill you super quick on hard. But it's just an excuse to get some perfect breaches in, so feel free to do so. And then kill these two crazy flying majiggers. But yeah, it's, it's like as soon as I'm told I can't do something, I want to do it. And I can still play my PS3, but there's fuck all on it I want to play. And it just highlights how much the games I want to play on my Xbox, you know, are. Because I've got Binary Domain, which I haven't even touched. And I really want to play it, and I can't. I got Devil May Cry High Definition Collection that's got two games on that disc that I really want to play and I can't and it's just it's just tragic like I've got a bunch of arcade games that are all really fun games but I sit staring at them and there's not a single one of them that I want to play it's just so weird really really weird but I suppose the moral of the story is Xbox 360 is a fucking shit <laughs> but there is Corporate War I put warfare for some reason, it's not, it's war. And uh, there is the CEO rank, 428,000 points. Anything in that ballpark will net you the rank. And as always, people, thanks for watching, and you take care now.